you know, one of the readings that we have for today that we'll get into in a moment is by a very wonderful person and a very terrific attorney and mindfulness teacher, you don't need to turn to it just yet, Patton Hyman. And I knew Patton a little bit many years ago when on various mindfulness for lawyers programs, we were both there. You don't need to think about just that. So I knew Patton Hyman many years ago when we'd come to these various events. And he was a very wonderful person, was a very wonderful person, a very kind person, a very serious, excellent, superb attorney who was very interested in mindfulness and sharing it with others. And so when I was pulling the reading for the class, because I think it's one of the really great and early readings. This is one of the first readings from 2007, writings on mindfulness for lawyers. And, he, and because he was such a practiced uh, lawyer and meditation student and teacher, I think he puts a lot in here that's very helpful early on in our semester to really have it on our minds and to be reflecting on it and returning to it. When I went online to um, pull it up, I then saw like obituary for Patton Hyman. And I was like, ah, oh, I haven't seen him in a while. And it said on January 7, 2019, the founder of Applied Mindfulness Training, Patton Hyman, died as he lived, with gentleness, fearlessness, and keen intelligence. And that was my sense of him. Gentleness, fearlessness, and keen intelligence. While he loved life, his physical condition had deteriorated such that his limitations were outweighing his enjoyments. He knew he was dying and faced it with the steadiness, grace, and humor that characterized his presence. So I thought, well, that touched me. Maybe I felt sad. I still feel sad. even reading it now. Um, I'm glad we're going to be reading what he wrote, right? that what he offered is something that we continue to learn from and enjoy, as I have no doubt that many, many people do in all the forms of what he's offered, as we all do in one form or another. I thought it might be nice, if not every class, but if for certain classes we began with like gratitude or in memory or in honor of somebody, right? And so if anybody wants to, for next week's class or the class after that, plan it out three weeks in advance or four weeks, want to say, I'd like to say something about someone who, who mattered to me, like for which I feel grateful, we'll be learning gratitude practices, so that would be gratitude, right? Or just to sort of give voice to them. Uh, there's a lot of mindfulness in this, right? To be aware of the feelings that come along um, of all sorts. And I would be interested in doing that. So it will be at times emotional, as it is now for some of us, and maybe all of us in different ways. Um, and that's okay. But it's also meant to be comfortable, right? And so um, if anybody would not want that to be a part of little five minutes or three minutes or two minutes or one minute at the beginning of a class or early on in a class, let me know so I'm aware of that. And if you would like to speak to somebody, right, or a pet, you know, a beloved, beloved, you know, um, let me know because I would like to create a space for that. I think it's part of what's fundamental to being a human being and fundamental to really what we're exploring here.